Tesla auto indicators kind of suck in the UK. Here's why. So for those that don't know then, Tesla added the auto indicator update in the UK just a couple of months ago. And the idea is it's supposed to be a smarter way to cancel the indicators, but in my opinion, it's actually made the experience a little bit worse. Now, before the auto indicator update uh, uh, existed, the way the indicators work were largely the same as conventional cars. So a single tap would give you just three flashes and then automatically switch itself off. A big tap would stay on until you either turn the wheel enough that it thinks you completed a turn or you cancel it by pressing it again. Now, there was always a little bit of a uh, difficulty, should we say, in the UK when you come to roundabouts even before the update. So for example, let's say I'm turning right at a roundabout. I'll turn right to say I'm, I'm going to take the third exit uh, and I'm going to be going right here. I go around the roundabout and then when I go to leave the roundabout, the idea is you're supposed to indicate off the roundabout it doesn't work. All it does is cancels the indication. Um, so in, in, in conventional cars where you've got more mechanical indicators, um, the indicator would actually be locked up like that. Um, so then you then when you're coming off a roundabout, you then drop it down to cancel it and then and then again to, to turn off. They work like that. In the Tesla, because they always go back to the middle, it doesn't work like that. So that was already a minor, a minor, but it's still an annoyance with a Tesla. Um, just means one extra click when you're trying to leave a roundabout. Not the end of the world, but you had to cancel it, then indicate rather than doing it in, in one motion. Fine, not a big issue. However, with the new automatic indicator mode, they've actually made this problem even worse. You can see now we've got this new option. There's the text for it as well. I'll let you pause and read that if you want to. But uh, the idea is, it's supposed to cancel the indicator when you change lanes. Now, this does work great on motorways, to be fair. Um, previously, I found that the, the convenience option where you just do three flashes was a bit too fast for changing lanes on the motorway, and the full option just meant you had to cancel it. A minor thing, but fine. This does it perfectly. Uh, so when you, when you want to change lanes, you just tap the indicator, uh, and then as soon as you're finished changing the lanes, it switches it off for you. Great, it works perfectly. I'm really happy on motorways. However, everywhere else, it kind of sucks. So just to let you know how this works then. So I explained how it worked without the auto indicator. Now the auto indicator is switched on. For some reason, the convenience option just doesn't work anymore. So if I do a single tap, it now just keeps flashing forever until either I turn the wheel enough or the car decides to cancel it with the smart function. Uh, and if I do a big tap, it's exactly the same. So essentially a single press and a double press is now exactly the same with this update. I don't really understand why they've completely got rid of that functionality, whether it's a straight up bug, I don't know, but it makes it just a little bit more difficult to drive. Difficult, probably too strong a word, but you get the idea. So now when I wanna, wanna, wanna come off a roundabout, uh, so I indicate, say I'm gonna take the third exit, I'm gonna come off here, great, fine. I go on the roundabout when I'm ready to take the turn. I then, I'm gonna cancel the indicator, indicate to tell everybody that I'm leaving here, and then I've gotta then cancel it again when I'm actually off the roundabout. So that's now two extra clicks compared to a, a, a traditional car. Um, again, it's a minor one, but it is a bit annoying. Now, don't get me wrong, this is a minor grievance. You know, worst case scenario, we just have to cancel it ourselves. But I just don't understand, you know, these upgrades and technology and software updates are supposed to make your life a little bit easier. And this has just made my life a, li a little bit harder, tiny bit, but still, it's made it harder. So I just don't really understand why, they why they've gone about it in this way. For me, the better option would be just to re-enable the convenience function so that when you do a single tap, it flashes three times. And then when you do a big tap, it then either cancels based on turning the steering wheel or it cancels based on uh, its own smart, you know, it, no, I'm thinking I'm gonna cancel now. Another option to make it work would be to sort of geolock the auto indicator function to only multi-lane uh, motorways. Because again, it works great for lane changes, but everywhere else it's just a little, little bit worse. So that could also work. It only, only auto cancels when it knows you're doing a lane change and doesn't try and be different any other situation, roundabouts or round town driving, whatever it may be. A third option would be to actually improve it. So to make it recognize roundabouts and understand, hey, he's now left the roundabout, I'll now turn off the indicator. But I appreciate that would probably need a bit more development. Uh, and particularly, you know, there's not many roundabouts in America. It'll probably take him a while to get good at roundabouts because although they're a big thing here, they're not a big thing in America. So it's never gonna be a big priority for them, unfortunately. For now though, I actually do leave the auto indicator option on, even though it makes my life a little bit harder round town. I do really like it on motorways and I'm not gonna, you know, while I'm driving, I don't wanna be changing all the settings all the time. I generally leave the settings alone and, and just leave them to do their thing. So I actually do drive with them on because I do quite a bit of motorway driving, but you know, come on, 
surely it's quite obvious that you shouldn't override the convenience function, even if you're based in America. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments, guys, what you think, especially if you're from America, um, because I'd be interested to hear if either the, the auto indicator function works slightly differently for you, uh, or if perhaps you're, you know, it, it works the same as this, but your roads are totally fine for it. Um, and also let me know if you're on the UK and you found perhaps some sort of workaround or whether you have a setting off or on. Do let me know down in the comments, guys, what you think. And other than that, guys, don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.